Hi guys! I'm in my office today because I'm going to work on some leather care and it is finally fall here where I live and it, that means it is boot season and I like to try to care for my boots um, at the first of the season when I start wearing them and then also two or three times throughout the season because I really wear boots pretty much every day in the fall and winter. So let me show you what I'm going to take care of today. Um, I have three sets of boots that I want to take care of. These especially are looking super rough. These are my fry boots that I wear all the time, clearly. You can see they're pretty scratched and scuffed. So I really need to take care of them. I also have a black pair of fry boots that um, the leather is different on these. It doesn't show as much wear. It's also not quite as nice in my opinion. Um, I kind of like the leather that shows um, wear and age. So these are, but these are a little bit easier to take care of because of that. And then my third and last pair of boots that I'm going to take care of today are these really nice um, cowboy boots that I have. Um, my husband loves cowboy boots. He actually purchased these for me. And they are 1883 by Lucchese. So that's the brand. Um, and these actually look pretty good. I think I conditioned them last year before I put them away. So they're looking pretty hydrated. But I would just want to do a coat of conditioner on these. And then the other thing that I need to take care of today um, is this bag. And I'm really nervous about this. So it is my new buck Gucci bag that I just received. Um, I've purchased some new buck leather care supplies because I've never really cared for, for new buck before. All right, so let's start on the easy part first, and that is the boots. Let me show you um, the supplies that I have lined up here on my desk. I have Leather Cleaner. This is by Apple Brand, which is one of my favorite brands. But you can, you'll see here that I mix and match brands. So um, I love Apple Brand Cleaner. I love also their conditioner. Um, it's really safe to use on any kind of leather, except I would not use it on Nubuck or Suede. You should really buy products for Nubuck and Suede that are specifically formated, formulated for that type of leather. This you can use on Florentine, Vachetta, any type of untreated leather, and it's totally safe. It will not change the color or anything, so I highly recommend Apple Brands Conditioner. And then you'll see that I will be using Bickmore, is another brand that I absolutely love, and they also have really great safe cleaner and conditioner products um, <clears throat> that I also purchase from time to time. This is a rain and stain repellent that I will be spraying on all of these things when I finish up the cleaning and conditioning process. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get started with the worst pair of boots first. What I like to use is a boot form, but you can really stuff the boot with anything that you might have laying around. You wanna make sure that you kind of expand the leather so that you can get all the cracks and crevices a little more easily. And so for these, because they are pretty beat up right now, I'm going to start with some cleaner. So I'm just gonna take a, a nice soft cloth. These are like microfiber cleaning cloths. And just put a little bit of cleaner on. Just a little dot, okay? Not a whole lot. And then I'm going to go over the boot. Just lightly, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this boot just like this and also the matching boot. Um, and let it dry completely. And then I will do the conditioning process. Okay guys, I'm back with these boots. Um, they have dried for about 20 minutes now. Um, so I'm going to move on to the conditioner step. And this is really where you're going to see the big change in the appearance of the boot. I mean, little, I use a little, I'm a little bit more liberal with the conditioner, so. Um, you just want to rub it on all over and really make sure you get the toes and the areas that wear the most um, and the heels. That's usually where you're going to get the most marks, okay? Look at all of these scuffs here. See all that? So I'm going to get a little bit of conditioner here. Here's that scuffed area, okay? You just need to 
moisturize it, rub it, kind of work the leather a little bit. Especially, in, and do you see how much better that looks? Okay, let's look at this toe. This toe is pretty scuffed. So you just wanna, I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera all around, but you really gotta get in there sometimes and really rub it because when you get that moisture and oil back into that leather is when you see that kind of stuff disappear. Look at that. It looks so much better already. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this boot and also the matching one. And then these are gonna dry for about 30 minutes before I apply the protectant spray. And I forgot, there's gonna be another important step we need to do before we spray them, and that is we're gonna buff them. But we have to wait for them to dry completely. So while we're waiting for them to dry, I wanna go over the Nubuck Care supplies that I purchased. So this is, um, once again, by Bickmore. It is their suede and Nubuck cleaner. It said it removes most oil and water-based stains on all color fast suede and nubuck. So I thought it sounded pretty good and I know this is a safe brand. I also have purchased a suede and nubuck leather cleaning brush and I'm actually going to try using this on its own first because I read when I was doing research online that sometimes even this alone can get the stain out without having to resort to using a cleaning product. So let's try that first. All right, so I just unpackaged this thing and it's actually really cool. So it has a bunch of different surfaces you can use for different types of issues on suede or nubuck. You have kind of, um, this is like a rubber, so you can see it looks like plastic, like hard, like it won't move, but it's actually a rubber. So this is for like heavier cleaning and then you have the softer bristles for softer cleaning and then you have some, um, like a curved area to get into like cracks and crevices and the same with this here is for like seams. So I thought it was interesting they give you a bunch of different options. So here is the, the bag that I'm trying to clean and it's actually in awesome condition if you saw my unboxing video. I will link the unboxing video below. I was just kind of surprised that the corners didn't look better. Um, and I don't even know that this is gonna be successful on camera because I've tried to take pictures of the corners and you can't really see the dirt it's just like right on the edge it looks dark and dirty so I'm gonna try just brushing it I guess um maybe I'll try this one. Oh, that looks like it's actually doing something interesting it said just make sure that you don't brush it too much um, or you'll mess the nap up what you're just trying to do is kind of brush out the dirt because Nubuck and Suede has like a kind of a raised surface to it and so the dirt can go down below and if you can just brush it out, it can make it look better. Um, but you don't want to ruin the nap. Let's see if I can try it on another corner here. Ooh, this is probably the worst corner. I don't know if you can see that. You see that dark line? So I'm just gonna try just lightly brushing it. I'm not pushing very hard. I'm trying to kind of go at different angles. I'm gonna just kind of brush it out. Try from this angle. <laughs> and now let me wipe it. Just kind of vigorously try to get the nap up a little bit. That does look better. I mean, it's not uh, perfect, but I think if I keep working on this, it's definitely looking better. I don't know that I'm going to resort to using the cleaner. So I'm gonna keep working on this bag and then I'm gonna come back and let you know what the results are. All right guys, I just wanna show you up close what these corners ended up looking like after I brushed them out. And honestly, they look so much better. I am shocked that that actually worked. Um, you can still see where, where like the nap has worn down from the previous owner, but this was all dark before. And just by brushing it, I was able to get that dirt out. And it's almost completely gone. I mean, it's amazing. I did not use any of this cleaning product. 
all I used was the brush. I used this kind of nubby side at first and then I went over it lightly with this bristle side. And then I actually went over the whole bag really lightly with these bristles and then wiped it down with a microfiber cloth just to kind of even out the nap everywhere. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm like really, really shocked at how good these corners ended up looking. They aren't dark anymore. That is just craziness. Okay guys, it's buffing time and it is as easy as it sounds. You just wanna grab a perfectly dry, clean microfiber cloth after the boot has dried or purse or whatever you're taking care of um, and you just rub it all over. And so what you're doing here is just removing excess conditioner that may be on the surface and also giving it a nice sheen. You see that sheen? It looks so nice. So you just wanna go over the whole surface area really lightly. Um, and then after you do all of the area, you can start lining stuff up to spray because that is the last step is you wanna protect everything um, that you're gonna wear out and about. And I try not to wear stuff I know can get ruined by the rain in the rain, but you just never know. Sometimes rain happens. So it's better to spray your stuff and protect it if you're worried about it and be prepared. So that's what if the finished boot looks like. Look how nice and shiny that looks. The scuff marks are like really diminished, especially on the toes and heels. I mean, it really just makes a big difference um, when you care for your shoes like this and your handbags. All right, I'm gonna finish up buffing and then we will talk about spraying. Okay guys, I'm just going to be spraying my two brown pairs of boots because they will show watermarks, my black ones will not. So there's no point in, sp in wasting spray on them. So once again, this is called Guard More, it's by Bic More. There is also a product by Apple brand, um, which is, I think is just called their Rain and Stain Repellent, which is a, another very good product. The reason I prefer this is because it, there is an option for it to come in a non-aerosol can, which means that you can apply it indoors and you're not going to kill brain cells because there's no odor to it. When you buy the ones in aerosol cans, you need to do it outside because the fumes are pretty strong and they take about 24 hours to dissipate off of whatever you've sprayed. Um, so this is a great solution if you're sensitive to smells, if you want to do this when it's fall or winter outside and you can't be outside because it won't dry or um, if you just don't like the stink and you want to use your sh boots or purse or whatever right away after it dries um, this is a great option so let me just show you how you do it you don't want to saturate it you just want to give a light coating and then if you feel like you need to do a second coat you can do that um, another light coat you just don't want to do like a really heavy spray so you're just gonna be probably about seven inches away from whatever you're spraying and just do a light spritz, okay? Spritz, 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 that's it, okay? <clears throat> now I'm gonna go ahead and do this boot on the other side. Ready? Spritz, 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 spritz. I wanna make sure I get the toes because that's probably where you're gonna have the most itch issues if you get caught in the rain. The front of the boots, the back of the boots, and then I need to get the sides that were facing each other. So that's it. You want to sort of set them up somewhere where they can dry, and then, like I said, if you feel like it's something you really care about and you want to make sure you got every single spot, then you might want to do a second coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do my cowboy boots and then I'm going to get set up to do my new buck bag because that's going to be a little bit more scary and I'll show you why. Okay guys, now this is going to be the part where you're going to get scared. <laughs> because when you spray suede or new buck with this product, you're going to darken it temporarily and you're going to see spots and you're going to panic and think to yourself oh no I just ruined my bag and I do it every time and I've done it so many times that I really shouldn't worry anymore but do you know what I always do just to be on the safe side I find in just like discreet area on the bag to test it 
So what I did before turning the camera on is take one piece of tassel, lay it out on the towel on the back side of it, of that tassel piece, I just did one spray so I could see it darken. I waited about five minutes for it to dry and you can see it's completely fine. But just in case this happens to be the one suede slash new book bag that the spray does not work on, it's always a good idea to test an area before you go ahead spraying the whole bag, just in case. Like I said, I have never, ever had an issue with this product. So the key to, to success here is you want to stuff this thing full. You really want to be able to get to the whole surface area of the bag. And for something like this, what I'm gonna do is have to do it in stages because I want the area that I'm spraying to dry before I flip it. So I'm probably going to spray all around the outside perimeter. I will probably spray both sides of these strap pieces. I will spray the tassel. I will let all of that dry and when it's completely dry, I will flip this and spray the bottom pretty liberally, especially the corners where I already know that there's a dirt issue that can happen. So I'll just show you the first couple of sprays and spare you the rest. So here you go. Don't panic, it's gonna be okay. You wanna be about seven inches away once again, and you're just gonna spray lightly, just a mist. So that's all the way around, and you can see areas where it, it did get darkened here, but that's gonna dry okay, I promise you. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna finish doing the straps and the tassel, let it dry, then flip it and do the bottom, and when everything's completely dried, I will show you how it turns out. All right, guys, that's it for today. I just wanna show you quickly the finished product. Um, my Gucci bag is ready for me to enjoy. You can see she is completely dry, no spots anywhere, and she looks totally clean and perfect and beautiful. Um, the corners look clean. There's no spots from the protectant spray. Everything dries, normal color. So I hope you guys will be confident enough now that you've seen me do it to go ahead and take care of your own bags and boots. All right, I will see you on my next video. Bye.